So today we want to talk about the gallbladder in relationship to intermittent fasting. Some people have been complaining about gallbladder symptoms when they do intermittent fasting, and I'm going to just kind of give you some insights of why that could be. First of all, let's cover the symptoms of a gallbladder problem. Usually you're going to get right-sided shoulder pain. Now it could be up through the neck here, it could be out here, it could either be back here in this muscle right here. It could be by your scapula. It could be by the mid back, but everything's going to be slightly on the right side. Uh, it can even be on your head or jaw and cause like even headaches on the right side of your head. And then abdominal pain, mainly on the right side, underneath the right rib cage. You'll feel a fullness of pain, uh, feeling bloated, or you might experience burping or belching or nausea. Now there's something that occurs in the gallbladder when you do a fast. Now around 10 to 15 hours of fasting, you get this saturation of bile in the gallbladder. Now think about it, when you eat, you're supposed to release the bile from the gallbladder. It should contract, it has contractile tissue, and the bile should come right out to help you digest. And the gallbladder releases its bile to help break down fat. So when you're not eating, it just sits there and it gets more concentrated. But the maximum concentrated bile occurs between 10 and 15 hours. And this uh, incidentally corresponds with a lot of these symptoms that someone has when they start doing intermittent fasting. So in other words, the bile gets thick and it kind of gets sludgy. In other words, the bile gets thick and we call that gallbladder sludge and it can just cause pressure in this area. So you might be concerned, am I going to get a stone? What am I going to do? Realize that after this peak, it goes down. In other words, your body starts thinning the bile as you fast longer or if you just eat. So mainly this effect occurs when you actually start doing intermittent fasting. As you do it longer and longer, your body adapts and you start to deal with this excess sludge or uh, concentrated bile. So there's a couple things you could do to kind of minimize this in the transition because over a period of time, this is going to go away. But in the meantime, what do you do? Well, lemon in your water is going to be very beneficial. Even during a fast, you can drink lemon water. That will help you. Adding apple cider vinegar to the water with the lemon will also help you because it actually helps thin the bile. Also, making sure you don't overdo it with the fats, especially in the beginning. When people start a ketogenic plan, a lot of times they go crazy with the MCT oil, they're drinking fats, they're doing uh, butter in their coffee, they're doing a lot of fats and they're not used to that. So you might want to cut back on that and go into this very gradual. Now, if you're concerned about stones, um, let's just kind of cover the basics of how people develop stones. Stones usually come from having too much insulin. And this is why diabetics have a higher risk of getting kidney stones. Um, so as you do a keto plan and you're doing intermittent fasting, you're lowering insulin. You're going to decrease your risk of getting stones in general. The bile that is released from the gallbladder helps to prevent the stones from developing. So then the question is, what triggers the bile release? Well, guess what? It's saturated fats. So when you go on a diet that is low in saturated fats, let's say you're a vegetarian, you're vegan, um, what's going to happen is you're not going to release as much bile. And there's a higher incidence of kidney stones with, with people that go on a low-fat diet than a higher-fat diet. So really, it's not the high fat in the diet that causes the stones. Eating higher amounts of fats will actually help you as long as you keep your carbs low. And I'm talking about the refined carbs and the sugar. Also realize the microbes have a huge influence on your bile because microbes in your gut help you recycle the bile. And if you don't have enough microbes, you don't get the recycling, you're going to be deficient in bile. And if that happens, you, you, you can actually get stones as well. If you have liver damage from any reason, you can develop stones. So, but going on a, a healthy keto, an intermittent fasting plan uh, is not going to cause stones but it may cause some temporary saturation or concentration of sludge in your gallbladder between 10 and 15 hours of fasting, but this is only temporary and you can actually do things to minimize it like adding lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and maybe cutting down on some of the fats as you're doing this program. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.